Hello there and welcome back. So, today we have a couple of calls in our episode. One of them is to start terraforming. And for that we are going to have to unlock the dirt excavator, terraforming station and the rain block. Now there is something missing over here and that is the storage but I'm assuming that's going to be... Oh, it's not here. So have they combined... Let's have a look. Okay. So let's place two of you. Nope. Let's place you here. Um, dirt, nope. And that's food, so it must be here, right? Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so that's actually pretty, pretty good. I like this update. So we don't have to build a separate storage for the, for the dirt anymore. Yeah, so terraforming is going to go on this lake up on the hill. And we don't really have a particular reason to deep in this section over here. But I thought, well, why don't we just, you know, use this area. It seems a bit more remote location, I suppose. Still fairly close to for our community here. But yeah, we'll, we're just going to use this location. Right, so that's goal number one. To construct it all up, we are going to need power in here as well. So I have uh, already kind of planned a few things in as well that take a little bit of more time and uh, isn't just very, very interesting to watch. Now, before we go through those updates, our second goal in this episode is to try and, um, you know, bring this area or, or modify and change it a little bit as well. I think in one of the previous episodes, we did talk about how we would like to start growing the cattails. And uh, yeah, this seems like a pretty good location to do this since we might be doing some restaurants around this area as well, especially next to the bathhouse. Now, the other reason why we do want to do the cattail over here is because in the anime itself, uh, Spirited Away, the uh, bathhouse was pretty much surrounded by water this, this uh, yeah, around the whole bathhouse. Now, most of it is already covered in water, so we just need it up on this hill as well. Yeah, so that's our plan, and I think that's going to be, well, most likely a separate district because right now everything is pretty red and that's the furthest we can go. So yeah, 100% are going to have to do another district somewhere here. Not sure exactly where we want to place it, but we've got space. Okay, so what have we done uh, to prepare this episode? Right, power, I guess it's the first thing we've done. Yep, so that was pretty simple. It just took, took a little bit more time. And the way we decided to do it was just to connect it with the previous link over here. I don't really think we need this shaft over um, connecting into this um, reservoir over here if I'm completely honest, but there isn't really a reason to delete it just yet either. So yeah, it's going to remain there for, uh, for a little while. And uh, the second thing I do want to do is um, it seems we have, well, I don't want to say we have problems, but I have noticed some of the resources starting to drop. So logs is going down. We do have quite a bit over here as well, but we're using this to harvest food uh, from them. Now, Quite a few maples here, so maybe we could we could send a few more uh, bots in this area. And yeah, everything around here has been cleared up pretty nicely. Let's have a look what's happening over here. Okay, you are not full, but you're somewhere. You're sitting here. Not sure what he's doing. He's definitely somewhere here. Oh, wait a second. No, you're uh, charging your batteries. That's fine. I thought you were just sitting in the house here. Okay, so that's cool. Everything else seems to be operational as well. Blanks. Let's have a look. Okay, tons of it. Gears not so much, but that's because we are exporting them. Okay, so let's do three times the speed and have a look in this area. Right, so power is pretty much complete. Why don't you have access to this one? Oh, I see. Okay, so probably have to climb up real quick from... Uh, will you be able to build this? Wait a second. Oh, we can't place anything over these charging stations either. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, let's place a ladder here so at least we can climb up a little bit. And um, yeah, so power is done. Just gonna have to run it up on this hill where we place the terraforming. Now, the second thing that I have also scheduled and planned in here is the train station. Now, the reason why we're placing it here is uh, it's not the exact same location, I, I don't think so. But in the anime itself as well, there was a train station pretty close to the bathhouse or, or somewhere in the vicinity. So uh, since space is a little bit limited, we're already on the edge of the map. I thought we'll place it over here. 
and we've uh, planned in all the platforms as well so this is going to be the route that the train will take and with the end station being i think somewhere here yep that seems like a pretty good location now which side shall we do it i think it doesn't matter too much to be honest but we'll place you here perhaps pause you for a second okay and then you are gonna run i think down the hill from here okay and this way as well so we still have a bit of space here to put down a couple of flags as well but okay so this is all planned in just gonna wait for uh, everything to be constructed i think in this district as well oh never mind we we have the logs already and the planks so that's good i don't think we're importing that stuff anymore is it oh yeah no more logs or blanks so we might have to just keep an keep our eye on it if we are starting to run low we'll uh, set up the imports again right so with this area here as well we do have a lot of spare pots right now and okay so another charging station is done as well we've got 18 days until this whole area will start to flood Okay, so why don't we actually try and clean it up a little bit faster? The reason why we're not just deleting the, the trees, I'd, I'd want to use those logs somewhere here to, to start constructing stuff as well. And um, I don't think we can make it fully self-sustainable just yet. Yeah, until we get the train tracks in, we are going to have to keep you connected with our main district pretty sure okay so there's quite a bit to build over here why don't we leave the beavers as they are oh yeah we, we haven't done the little turning around uh, area over here but i think that's fine for now there's still quite a few things for them to construct do we have any spare columns in here no we do not but we can probably bring in some more as well so how about let's see how far can they go first let's expand the roads a little bit okay over here and we do want not the charging stations. Let's do lumberjack flags. Oh, wait. We're already out of range, it seems. Cool. So let's place a couple over here. They still have a pretty pretty decent range, to be honest. So I think we'll be, we'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, so now we can leave this area as it is for, uh, for a little while. Let us just send in a few more bots. Okay, there we go. And let's zoom over to our metal production. Not the metal production, but all the uh, the bot production, actually. Yeah. So what's happened over here as well, whilst the construction is happening in the other district, I actually started recording this episode already um, last night. So I had like 10 minutes recorded, and um, that's when I built these engines as well and went through how we want to you know, expand this uh, production zone over here. But um, yeah, I think around 10 minute mark, I got a little hungry, decided to cancel it and started cooking instead. So here we are. So a few things have been built. Yeah, so engines is, is a bit more, more new, but um, what else do we have? Oh yeah, all the gear workshops over here as well. These are these four and the uh, storages are new edition. But okay, that's all right. It, it's not nothing major anyway, so I'm sure will be okay with this right so another thing we do might want to do is we are producing quite a bit of power and we do have all the bots in here as well so a little bit of excess right now and um, i'm just thinking i do want to connect it up with our main power grid so yeah i think now is the time we start planning this out a little bit now where's our power going down from oh it's going from this side I was looking at those ladders and I thought this might be our power shaft that's going straight down, but it's not so... <laughs> right, that means we are going to have to bring you through somewhere over here, which is a little bit more painful, but still doable, of course. Could climb over from here, run those cables. Actually, yeah, let's uh, keep it simple for now. Okay, there you go. And yeah, we'll go up and through what about this side do we want to go up here i guess we can and then 
we are going to have to cross over on this side as well. That's probably where we remove the axis a little bit. Okay, and same in here. We'll just run it through, bring it down. Oh, you do have to jump over as well. Fine, let's do that. And I guess... Um, are you going to have access all the way here? Oh, you do. Okay, so that's great. Let's keep going. So, all the way through. Over. To the other side. Actually, never mind. Let me just lay down all the platforms. And we'll be back as soon as it's done. Alright, so there we go. I think most of the power lines are now in place. Actually, there is one post over here. And... Oh, you can't reach this one either. Okay, well, we'll fix it up very, very quickly. But yeah, so this is all now connected. Power is flowing through. And they have managed to complete this almost all the way there. What the um, what causes the slowdown is actually that for the power lines in this area, all our beavers in our main colony are actually a little busy constructing everything else that we have over there. So why don't we fix this up a little bit as well. We do have those roads, so that's part of the our production district over here. If we were to extend you just by a little bit. Okay, that should give the access to our pots now as well. Let's uh, just double check. Oh yeah, it runs all the way here. So you can go and help out as well. Cool, okay. Let's have a quick look how our train tracks are coming along as well. One of the problems we were experiencing is that we don't have... I think we were exporting all of the scrap metal from here. So I've set it up real quick as well. And now we can see, yep, those trains are bringing in scrap metal. And that's, um, yeah, that's basically needed to start building all the train tracks. But okay, so you guys can carry on. Not really sure which direction we want to go. Oh, actually, never mind. It does not matter because... On this route over here, it's a pretty pretty short one. And for now, I don't really want to mess around with having multiple uh, drains on this route. So what we shall do, I think it's going to be just one drain. Yep, shared space or, I mean, the directions. We're not going to do different, um, different directions for the drain. I guess we'll leave the waypoints in just in case we upgrade in, in the future. Yeah, that should be fine. We can do the same over here. Alright, there you go. Connection point. And with these sections, it should be fine building you this way. Maybe another signal here as well, in case in the future it might get a little bit more busy. Okay, let's leave you like that. And over here as well, what we do want to make is give them a bit more access. I quickly changed the around as well so we can have the beavers or the columns climb on those platforms and construct everything that is above them. Okay, you guys carry on. Yeah, and the rest of it should be pretty straightforward and easy to construct as well. Okay, so there we go. First tracks are now going in, in which is great. Up here... Alright, the bots have arrived. That is wonderful. Now, they might not have the access to go and harvest all of those trees over there. We could change this all up, actually. Why don't we build this station as well? We do also need... Yeah, we're gonna need the depot. The train yard. There we go. Um, with the space, where can we squeeze you in? There isn't a lot of space left in here. Oh yeah, there isn't uh, a lot of space left in anywhere, to be honest. I mean, I guess if we have to do it here, we could and change some of those roads around a little bit. Let's have a look, but I don't want to get rid of our crops, so it might be easier to build you elsewhere. Yeah, it's going to be cheaper doing it, I guess, somewhere here. But then bringing the resources... Oh, never mind. They don't really have to bring a lot of resources, so I think we should be fine. Yep, let's uh, clear out this space. That should be enough to construct the drain yard. Oh, someone is going to get stuck 100%. So why don't we need leave the good station? Um, <laughs> yeah, that could be the last thing we construct over here. How about we change you around and start going in from here? What could also be good is if one of those tracks gets built. So that way they can't run through anymore. 
All right, we'll do that as well. So 15 days left until the rainy season starts. The area overall is already pretty clean, so that's good. And now, um, I think, yeah, we, we should... Oh no, someone's already stuck. Okay, at least you're downstairs, so that's good. You're saying we can't construct you because it's too far. What about... Oh yeah, all these ones are not done yet. Let's get the lattice built first. Off you go. And I don't think we can really, yeah, rescue you. Somehow you landed downstairs. And there's no way you can come back. Unless we delete everything, of course, which we don't really want to do. So by giving all these sections a slightly high priority, I do believe we should be able to reach there very soon, right? Yep, they've got another ladder down, so these ones will be constructed in a second. Okay, now access-wise over here, as soon as the trains are going, we will place... How flooded did it normally get? I mean, if we want to be super safe, I'd say we place the district center somewhere up here. That might be an acceptable location over here. Yep, let's try doing it this way. Okay, do we need a ladder here perhaps as well? This might be a little bit easier. Okay, cool. And then all we gotta do is just step it up. I think most of them will be ladders, except now we'll do it here as well. It just allows us a bit more access on the on the sides as well. If we do want to place some uh, storages or anything else. And I think you can go home now, right? There is access now. Well, almost. Okay, get a few blanks as well. Have we already run out of them? Not quite, but we are very close, so we should import them as well. Alright, edit. Let's grab you. We are receiving blanks now. Let's see, any trains? Uh, what's going on here? Those two trains seem to be... Yeah... Maybe I shouldn't show this on the screen. Um, let's uh, get rid of you guys. Bit of um, train action over there. Now, have we deleted all of them already? Oh no, they must be somewhere, right? I don't see any... Oh, there is one over here. I wonder if they've glitched out as well. Because we started building those tracks over here. Interesting. Not entirely sure. But, yeah, they were definitely operational before. And the only time, well, at least when we started noticing problems is when... Uh, let's have a look. You guys, you don't seem to be very fine. Yeah, it seems like we've only started having problems when we built those new tracks over there. But okay, that's fine. We'll just um, delete them, rebuild them. And hopefully they will be fine. Oh no, the liver is not coming in here because he's stuck as well. So let's update you. Okay, I think the rest is fine though, isn't it? Yep, everything is almost done. So we just need a few more tracks over here. And um, okay, we'll skip ahead a little bit. I'll just uh, carry on building those tracks along this route over here. Once all of this is done, we'll be back. Okay, so that took way longer than expected, and I'll explain why in a second. But we do have the power lines finally connected, yeah. So supply is 6,400, which of course isn't a lot, but it's uh, more than enough for what we need right now. I think uh, once we get the terraforming station next in the in the place as well, we might need a couple more engines or, or a different way to, to produce a bit of extra power or maybe even scale down some of the production because, yeah, as you can see, all the trees are pretty much gone. I mean, yes, they are consuming less logs nowadays, but uh, I think we need to, yeah, expand our forestry just a little bit. But for now, I think we can uh, take a look over here as well. So our train line is fully complete. We've got a waiting station here, one of the good stations at our new district. I've also placed down a couple of dynamites because we do want to start letting that that water to pass through when the rainy season starts in about four days. And okay, so the train yard is right over there and we do have the second good station as well. 
Cool, so everything should be connected now. Let's try and open one of those trains. Alright, so you're gonna go and wait over there, which is lovely. Okay, cool, so why don't we place a, another district center right over here. Okay, and uh, this one is going to be columns only. So that means we are gonna have to unlink you. All right, we'll grab some roads as well, and you are now connected. Okay, this one can go, and same with you. All right, there we go. So we do have a bit more access now, but you don't have any resources. So what we need to do is we are receiving logs, blanks, and I think we are going to need some dynamites as well. Let's have a look. Dynamites, there we go. Anything else we might need? Well, most likely metal blocks. And I think, well, let's uh, check this out real quick. We'll uh, might as well unlock you. All right, there we go. So terraforming, sorry, the dirt excavator takes 50 metal that we have, treated planks and gears. Okay, so treated planks and gears is also another thing we do need to send over here. Receiving, and there we go. So jump to the other station real quick. And we'll set you up as well. So all of those resources that we highlighted before. I think that's all of them. Not receiving, but we are sending. Okay, so hopefully our haulers will start putting resources here. And then the single train that we do have in here can start moving resources around a little bit. Okay, cool. Let's speed up the time as well since it is night time. Now in here, do we have any... What? Oh, we do not have any yet. I guess they just ran off. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's set you up as well. I think it's good to start with maybe like six spots. That should be enough. Although we might need a few more workers here. Let's do four for now. So we can start figuring out how and where do we want things to go. Now for the road itself, I think for, for the time being, why don't we just do like a, like a temporary stairs over here so we do have the access okay and that's gonna run through this way and as soon as we build up all of our infrastructure over here that's when we can move the district center over to this location all right so there we go we'll put it on three times the speed and we still have a couple logs that we can take from there as well which is great okay now i don't believe we need any of these roads and we can start putting dynamites all over this place as well. Okay, so you guys are complaining that you don't have resources. Is the train already moving? Oh, yes it is, and you are bringing nothing. Okay, let's have a look. We've got some stuff in here. Something weird seems to be happening with the explosives. So, they are... Are they being... Okay, so they're putting them in here and now taking them out again. So let's see, where are you going? You're moving over to this side. Uh, let me guess. Okay. That's because you're sending them. How about we take this off for, for the time being? I don't think we need the dynamites anywhere else right now. So this uh, should fix it up. Right. There is a bit of a weird route where they are going up the hill. Down the hill and crossing over. It would be much better if we, yes, get a slightly more direct access over here. That's something we are going to do a little bit later because we're not entirely sure which of those access points do we want to keep. And uh, yeah, as we mentioned, I think in the previous episode as well, that we may want to put a district center somewhere here. So I, I'm thinking that this one here might be the one we keep, maybe. Yeah, not entirely sure just yet. And then eventually we are going to do like a... A uh, bit of a different access for them as well, so they can go everywhere down below here. Okay, so, yep, dynamites seem to be fine now. So that is good. Have you taken anything over already? Uh, I thought you brought something over. Let's have a look. Oh, just a second. Nothing. Well, that's really weird. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was full of dynamites just a second ago. Let's have a look. About 391 in total. 
Okay, maybe there's some access issues here. Shouldn't be. In, out. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, let's uh, go over to the other side again. Metal blanks, nothing. Okay, it seems the something is glitching out over here, so I'm going to do a quick reload and we'll be back as soon as it's fixed. Okay, so there we go. I believe the quick reload fixed the problem. The drain has been operational for quite some time. I've let the game run for another 10 minutes or so and I haven't noticed any problems, so that is good. Over here as well, um, the rainy season has already started and we've managed to build quite a few ladders all the way to the top as well. Now what we are also doing here, for the time being we'll place a couple of simple dams over here just to keep as much water as we can in this area and we're starting to do the same in here as well. We'll um, yeah, keep everything stocked up with water and once it starts flooding we'll set up a little bit of automation here as well. So with this area now holding quite a bit of water as well, what we can do is start building a few of those aquatic farmhouses. Now the question is where shall we place them? Somewhere centralized would be great since it covers a bit of a bigger area and actually we might not want to dynamite this area. Maybe. Well anyways let's build it over here for, for a little while so at least we can start constructing or planting a few crops. And through here we might change the access as well a little bit. Yeah, let's place one this way and maybe another one this way in the future. Okay, so you go there. We'll give you a tiny bit of access as well. Okay, there we go. And slightly... Hmm, do we want higher priority on these ones? I think we do. Let's get this built. So that way we can start planting the crops already. Now, we still have some dynamites coming in overall 400, okay, but they might be in some other districts as well, so perhaps they're not as useful. So you guys, oh, access is a bit problematic, but that's okay. We'll do another set of stairs just like so, and you will take a bit of time as well. I don't know if we are going to be able to construct and complete this whole dam before the rainy season starts, but um, yeah. I guess we will see. Now, I believe it is a pretty good time to start doing our excavation as well. So for that, I'm very happy it doesn't need any logs because that is something we are currently struggling with. Uh, right, right, right. So you can go about here and that should be fine, right? Yeah, because we do want to deepen most of this lake here. Okay, we just need a, a ladder there. Power line somehow as well. Oh yeah, let's place you here. Okay, there we go, finally. Right, we'll give you access. Ladder goes here. And it is a bit wonky right now. But it it's okay. Now, next thing we do have to do is bring power all the way up there. Right now the cables end about here. Okay, I see. So you're going to be in the way as well. So that's not really the way we want to build you, perhaps. Okay. Uh, how about we do those farms over here instead? Yeah, there's already quite a lovely spot over here. Okay, one over here. Next one. So you can go there. Right, what might be a bit more smarter if we dynamite this section right away. You don't have any logs so we can remove you as well. Okay, and then uh, yeah, that should be should be perfect once we get it constructed. Uh, with you guys, unfortunately, yep, we are going to have to take you out. Alright, there we go. And now we'll just figure out the power as well. This is kind of like valuable farmland. But then again, I don't suppose we need this whole area for our farms. We can use or leave a bit of it for construction as well. Yeah, I think we should be fine. Alright, so you are going to run through through here. Let's uh, keep it simple for now. Just some corner pieces. One over there, one over there. And, oh right, we're not going to be able to get rid of those trees. That is not ideal. 
Okay, fine. We're gonna have to maybe switch you around a little bit. I think right now it doesn't really... Hmm. No, wait a second. It will be best if we do or use those areas for storage. I was just about to say that we don't really need them or it doesn't matter, but I think it does. Yeah, it probably does. And this is perfect for one of you guys. We can put logs in that one. What can we keep here? Uh, let's have a look. Small one can be... Let's open you actually instead. So you can be blanks. Yep, there we go. And with this one... Well, we're not sending food here, but perhaps some gears is what we store over here. Alright, there we go. We'll connect you up as well. I think road-wise we'll change it up a little bit. Okay, so we've just finished uh, completing that ham over here. And it seems the volume of water is just way too strong for four dams alone. So yeah, that's definitely uh, something we are going to have to fix in the future. And allow some more water flow to go through. But at least right now, we do have the trout arriving in about 1.6 days. And we'll be able to keep this area nice and green for, for quite, a, quite a bit of time. Okay, now more dynamites are starting to go in place as well. Because the beavers or the bots have been catching up with all the construction projects except the dirt ex excavator so what I've realized is yes we had it set up in this station over here but we actually were not exporting them from uh, from the uh, scrap city so that is now fixed as well three the planks should be coming through yes they are so that is lovely to see let's see are you being topped up that seems to be correct and you are now oh no you're just sending logs over. Well, that's fine. We just have to allow it a little bit of time and it should be should be going or being exported into our newest district very soon. Okay, over here as well, if we hide the water, we have already planted a few cattails. Uh, you guys, actually, never mind. This can be... Oh, no, we do have the spare beavers right now. Oh, the bots. Okay, there we go. Right, so all we need is just to expand our farming zone. I mean, dynamites, yes, we do have them right now, so I don't think we're going to have, or at least I hope we're not going to have a lot of problems with this. Okay, so a few more plants can go here and here. And that all is pretty busy as well. Another thing we quickly did was to remove the barrier over here. So right now the water runs all the way through. And that seems to be pretty, pretty lovely. Okay. Second gate is also complete. So the height had to be adjusted just a little bit. Maybe even 0 0.5. Yeah, I don't really want the water to go this way. I would prefer if it all escapes through here. But I think the sort of surface area is not enough. So we may have to continue expanding this zone a little further. And in the long future... I also do want to put those wheels in here as well and hopefully use the power that comes from them. Put them, uh, put the power in a few of few of those batteries that we will construct here as well, and then hopefully that's gonna, you know, provide us a bit of extra juice for the uh, dirt excavator. Okay, so three the planks seem to be finally going through, and we have ten in right now out of hundred. So yeah, that should be done pretty soon as well. If we check our storages, okay, gears are still hovering around 400. So we do have to improve that a little bit. Let's uh, have a look over there real quick. Okay, my suspicion is it's the... Oh yeah, it is the logs. We're not bringing logs in from anywhere. Okay, so in that case, what I think we'll do in the next episode, because this one's pretty long already, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure it is. And in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll climb up here, expand our forestry a little bit. Yep, so all this whole zone over here can be maple farms instead. And what would also be lovely is if we can block this water in here and open all of those barriers as well. Yeah, okay. Well, this uh, underground mine or the, the ruins over here, I think they have to be blocked in uh, in a little bit, and especially if we don't want to remove the natural ruins over here as well, we might have to use a few levees to go around. But I'm sure we'll uh, figure something out. So yeah, that's for the uh, for the next episode then. 
Now, I was also thinking to put one of those control towers a little bit closer over here. Like, up on this levee would be perfect. But right now, if the problem is the logs... Um, let's have a look. 31 in here. Oh yeah, not enough planks as well, because they're being exported somewhere else. But over here, it seems... Oh, actually, never mind. It seems it has stabilized. So maybe four of those stems are enough. And right now... Well, we're still flooding this area. Well, that would be fine. And let's see, how far are we with you as well? Just waiting for two more gears. Oh, we are so close. Okay, where are all of our gears? Since there's nothing over here, are you bringing some over? No, you're not. Okay, we've got six over here. And we are sending them. I'm guessing everything has gone into... Oh yeah, 358 over here. Well, okay... And we're still accepting gears, right? Yeah, we are receiving. Okay, so let's give it a couple of minutes. And uh, hopefully we will have the last missing resources to complete the dirt excavator. Alright, so there we go. We've got all the gears in the, in the district now. Which means we can complete the dirt excavator finally. And here we go. We are operational. Well, as soon as the bots move in here, of course. Okay, so we'll give you, I think, you a little bit lower priority. Wonderful. Off we go. Okay. Yeah, that took a very long time to get everything complete, but that's because everything... Well, quite a few resources were coming from the other side of the map, and right now the way resources are moving is they are going all the way around through here swap over from one station to another one right here and then they move into this district of course it would have been way closer to connect it up from here but we just don't have the access and uh, it just seemed to be a bit more fun to you know gradually connect these different areas up a little bit more but okay so that's the goals that we set at the beginning of the episode already achieved now we are producing cattails and soon after we do have to process them into into different types of food as well and we also have the dirt excavator here, which will dig some dirt for us that we can, in return, start using to fill up some other gaps that we do have throughout the colony. So yeah, another successful mission for the beavers and the bots, of course. So we can call it an episode now. And as we mentioned before, I think we did before, yeah, that we are going to try and expand our forestry in the next one by sending those bots out well the drought is pretty long 26 days so we won't see the results very quickly but yeah that's uh, definitely something we are going to do in the next episode and if we want to perhaps even connect the underground ruins up as well and uh, i'm not sure if we can do it already in the next one but i yeah i do want to clear and tidy up this cliff range that we do have in here and uh, hopefully start doing some package meals as well but okay so that's gonna be the end for this episode thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode <laughs>